Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to create a toggle button in AngularJS. Now we got the final output. When I click new user registration, see we got the registration form. Notice the button control text value is changed. If the user is already registered, he want to log in, click the login. We got the login form. If the user is new, click the new user registration, we got the registration form. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I'm using Notepad++ for this video tutorial. Just for the time saving, I have created a simple HTML code which contains the header tags H1, H2, horizontal line and one button control which is a toggle. And after that, I have two div containers, one for the login form and the second one for the registration form. Uh, before adding this, AngularJS toggle button functionality, first we'll check the basic output how it looks at designing part on the browser. And this is the output of that code which contains the header tags, one button control, login div and the registration div. And my aim is I want to create the toggle button functionality using AngularJS of this login and registration form. So let's start the coding part. So when you are using AngularJS, the first thing we require the latest Angular J Angular CDN link. AngularJS CDN. And from the search results, I'm selecting the first option Angular.js. And in this website, you can find the different versions of AngularJS, Angular, and Angular 2 CDN links. I'm selecting the version for the AngularJS, which is 1.5.11. Come to the bottom. So we require this one angular.min.js file. Let's copy this file, CDN link. And add in our header section script source is equals to I'm pasting the CDN link and closing the script tab. After that, uh, here it's not question mark, it's a tag. Again, I'm adding the script tag and closing the script tab. Now in the script. I'm writing the angular functionality variable app is equals to angular dot module between double quotes. I'm adding the angular JS application name which I'm adding after the horizontal line. I'm adding the do tag. The first do is the login and the second do is for registration. After that I'm adding this do tag. I'm closing the do tag. ng hyphen app is equals to I'm adding my app. Notice I have added the ng hyphen app direct to in this do container. So whatever the elements between this do container, it belongs to this ng application, Angular application. Let's copy this and add here, comma, array semicolon let's create the controller app dot controller between double calls and the same deal i'm adding ng iphone controller is equals to my controller let's copy this paste here comma dollar scope dot I'm using here watch dollar angular watch dollar watch single calls variable comma function dollar scope dot variable change is equals to 
dollar scope dot I'm adding this variable here question mark between double quotes the first button control already register login is a button control name colon I want to display the button name new user registration semicolon this code is used to change the toggle button text values let's add this function to the button control notice here the button control is above the do container so what I'll do is I'll copy this one I'll paste inside this angular application do container if you add this button control outside this do toggle functionality does not work whatever the elements is inside this do ng app it belongs to this application angular application now add ng hyphen click is equals to between double quotes I am adding this variable is equals to not variable and I am deleting this new user registration I want to add the variable change that's it we have added up to now the changing the button values when we click the button control let's save this file we'll check the output I'm reloading the browser see now I already registration login new user registration when button click I want to hide this login deal ng hide is equals to I'm adding this variable. Copy this one, paste here. The registration div ng show directive. I'm adding the variable. That's it. Let's save the file. We'll check the final output on the browser. I'm reloading the browser now we got the final output when I click new user registration see we got the registration form notice the button control text values change the user is already register he want to log in click the login we got the login form if the user is new click the new user registration we got the registration form that's it